Next, pulling in the round, coming up to my stage, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lady Dwarf, oh, Lady Dwarf. Up for this poet, give it up for this poet. It wouldn't have helped to place the blame. The story still would have come out the same. A family, a family devastated from the loss of a child, guilt driving an innocent mother wild, a pregnant woman needing a transfusion, a bloody car wreck, there was so much confusion. There was a frantic call to the blood bank for this mother in shock. Thankfully, they set up her type. They had it in stock. No one asked about the donor. No one really cared. What mattered was this baby and this mother were spared. But the story continued. It had not yet been told that later, when this baby was six months old, she lay in a crib hung with medals and crucifix. Every few hours, more pains, more needle sticks, green tubes, clear tubes, tubes of milky white, each attached to her in an effort to fight the enemy that we already knew could not be defeated. HIV was ravaging her, and it would not be unseated. Blood-stained tears in her tiny little face so new, so innocent to be in such a dreadful place. The medicine we gave her helped to keep away the pain. It dulled the sensations that were in her brain, but still her tiny legs but still her tiny legs jerked in spasms. Why this should happen, I, I could not fathom. AIDS is a punishment for sinners, they preach. AIDS is meant to kill addicts and gays, they teach. People deserve to die because of AIDS of their lifestyle. These words kept returning in my head all the while. I watched this baby struggle for breath after breath, knowing her only release would be from death. It wouldn't have helped to place the blame. The story still would have come out the same. Maybe it was a brother on the down low who didn't want his wife to know that he'd been tasting fruits, fruits forbidden and was unaware of the disease he'd been given, or maybe it was a young woman who, who walked the street seeking cash the only way she knew to make ends meet. Maybe it was an addict who was seeking a taste of the drug that had already made his life a waste. But I wonder if these people were ever aware of the danger and if they did, would they care that because of their actions a child lay dying, that because of what they did, all oh, heaven was crying. Her brothers and sisters did not understand that through the careless actions of some woman or man, their baby sister, just six months after her birth, was suffering the torture of the dam before leaving this earth. If someone had understood, if they had known about their dangerous blood and only been shown, maybe this child could have been born could have been spared this tragedy. Maybe her life would not have been a travesty. Some adult somewhere whose life had gone astray never knew that he murdered a baby along the way. It wouldn't have helped to place the blame. The story still would have come out the same. But I wished I could find that person and bring him cribside and let him watch with me as that baby died. Thank you, Lady Dwarf. Give it up one more time for that poet, please. Okay. Judges, oh judges, oh judges, you know what to do. Here we go. Uno, dos, one, two, tres. <laughs> 